What's by this is your boy, and welcome back to a new reaction video. And um, well, actually, it's a review. Never mind, it's a review. I'm wearing my glasses. I don't know why I just am. I'm not really doing a reaction, so I don't really care if I'm wearing my glasses or not. Anyway, um, so this is going to be a review of Doctor Who episode, uh, series two or season two, episode four, the girl in the fireplace. And because I did react to it, but. Uh, this is a reoccurring problem with my old laptop, which I'm using right now, um, files just get, like, files get hidden or, like, erased without me knowing, <laughs> so I did react to this, but I couldn't, like, retrieve the files or anything, I didn't delete them, I just lost them, and I can't really get them back, I don't think, so technically they are deleted, but this episode was very special to me, and I, I wouldn't regularly do a review on an episode that I missed, but this episode was very creative and it very it really stood out to me so i've never heard of this anywhere like any time traveling uh show any time traveling thing that i've seen i've never heard about um a time window i think it's called when the doctor and um where they could just go back in time like it's for the doctor and rose and mickey it's all at the same time you said this was the 51st century. I also said this ship was generating enough power to punch a hole in the universe. I think we just found the hole. A space spatial temporal hyperlink. What's that? No idea. Just made it up. Didn't want to say magic door. Before the girl in the fireplace, it happened like her whole life. Her whole life, the doctor came over. Whereas for the doctor, they were in some sort of spaceship where it was only like 20 minutes for him. Or like 40 minutes for him. But uh, like all that was happening during that girl's life. Um... That little girl's life she, she grew up and um yeah it was a very creative episode i really liked it because the creative wise it was really good story wise it was really good but there were a few plot holes i mean there was a big uh, plot holes to me probably because i don't understand it please explain to me in the comments so a plot hole was rose talks to the girl but there's like no build up to her finding out what happens to her and her talking to the there's like there's no build up to the crew finding out what happened to the girl in the fireplace like i still don't know how they figured out how it was the girl's body parts i think it was the girl's body parts in the ship one of them must have found the right time window now it's time to send in the troops and this time they're bringing back her head i've come to warn you that they'll be here in five years five years sometime after your 37th birthday i am um... I can't give you an exact date, it's a bit random, but they're coming, it's gonna happen. In a way, for us, it's already happening. Like her heart and her mind, and that's why the girl had to be compatible. Um, I still don't know how they figured that out, I just knew like one scene they were with the little mannequin people, the next scene, Rose talks to the girl in the fireplace um, about her needing to come with them to save her life or something. Um, also, when the doctor drove through the... I'm going to put some pictures up here and some videos up here. When the doctor drove... Like, when the doctor rode through the painting, how did they get it open? I still I still don't remember how they got it open. I mean, I could have missed it if I was talking too much during my watch through. I could have missed how they opened the painting. They teleported. You saw them. As long as the ship and the ball are linked, their short-range teleports will do the trick. But we're going to the TARDIS. We can't use the TARDIS. We're part of events now. Well, can't we just smash through? Hyperplex this side, plate glass the other. We need a truck. We don't have a truck. I know, we don't have a truck. Well, we've got to try something. No, smash the glass, smash the time windows. There'll be no way back. But I just, I still don't know how they opened the painting. I just know one, uh, I just know that they were trying to figure out how to open the painting. And then next, he just automatically went through the painting. Like, there's not really any buildup. Um, again, explain it, explain to me in the comments if I'm wrong. Please prove me wrong, because I don't understand. Please prove me wrong. Um, <clears throat> and also, how many times did the doctor, how many times did just the doctor and Rose and Mickey go through the paintings? Because sometimes they jumped like 15 years. Sometimes it felt like they jumped like five minutes. Like, I don't know how that works, how a time window works. Like, is it? always going to be five minutes or is it always going to be an hour is it always going to be a year or can it be a year five minutes five seconds can it just be all throughout time wherever you want um that's like another weird uh li like a little thing i'm confused about how many times did they actually go through the painting um 
And I really liked Mickey and Rose's, like, little... Mickey and Rose spent some time this episode. I really liked that. I mean, not a lot of time, but... Mickey and Rose are so confusing. I like that they were able to spend some time together. Um, I'm just looking through this real quick. Doctor's wearing his glasses. We got the girl in the fireplace. Oh, yeah, it was really, it was really funny when the... <coughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from being sick. It was really funny when the the girl kissed the doctor because like this man was there since he was since she was a kid, which is a little bit sus that she kissed a man when she was a kid, or she kissed a man she met when he when she was a kid. So little time. But it was still really funny and kind of cute that she looked up to the doctor, um, and the doctor was flabbergasted. I think the doctor cared about this girl. The doctor cared about this girl a lot. Okay. Yeah, the doctor cared about this girl, um, and there was a moment where the doctor had to look look into the girl's mind. I forget her name. That's why I keep referring her to, to the girl. But there was this point where the doctor had to look through the girl's mind. Oh, doctor. So lonely, so very, very alone. You mean alone? You've never been alone in your life. When did you start calling me doctor? Such a lonely little boy. Lonely then and lonelier now. How can you bear it? How did you do that? And it was making sense until suddenly she was talking about like, Oh, a poor, lonely child. No friends, no family, no one to whatever. And then the doctor found out that she was talking about him, and she was like, oh, poor doctor, you lived a miserable life. And then the doctor was like, how did you... Sorry, I heard something move. How did you know that? The doctor was like, how did you know that? So the doctor, I'm like, the doctor doesn't know if you read someone's mind. Like, I don't, I, this is, I learned this episode, but I would assume the doctor knows everything about everything. So the doctor didn't know that if, she, if he read her mind, she could read his mind. It's like, they were talking about, like, doors opening. Like, if you open a door to her mind, a door will open in your mind. I'm guessing that's what it meant. So, you need to be more careful, doctor. Um, and do we get to find out more about you, doctor? I mean, like, do we ever find out the doctor's life in this show? There should be, like, a show called The Doctor. Instead of Doctor Who, it should be called, like, The Doctor. Whereas it's just The Doctor. And it's, like, his Time Lord days. I don't know. If that exists, then let me know. Because <clears throat> I, I know nothing about Time Lords. I guess I'm supposed to. Um, I'm supposed to be like that, I guess. So, all in all, this was a great episode. I mean, like, 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 some, like, w sometimes it felt like the Doctor skipped, like, 15 years. Sometimes it felt like the Doctor skipped 5 minutes. I just don't understand about time windows, I guess. Um... But all in all, this was a fantastic episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the doctor, like, it was special. The doctor cared so much about this girl much more than a, a companion. Like, she was, I, I don't know, she, she it felt like she was, in her own way, more special or kind of, like, different special than, uh, what's her name, than Sarah Jane or Rose, she was like different. She was like different towards the doctor. She had a different relationship towards him. Like that's how I feel. She had a very different relationship towards him. It was a weird relationship. She knew this man all his life, and he didn't. But still. <clears throat> reason tells me that you and I are unlikely to meet again. But I think I shall not listen to reason. I have seen the world inside your head and know that all things are possible. And, uh, one last thing, if I can't think of anything else, um, um, why couldn't the doctor get there in time? Wish me luck. No. just missed her so like at the ending uh the doctor wrote no the doctor wanted to um show the girl the stars or something and he was to come back like two minutes later rose was very je <coughs> rose was 
Rose is very jealous, I could tell. This, I, I mean, at least I think she was very jealous. Oh my gosh! And there's another, there's another thing. At the, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Rose is very jealous, which is acceptable. And, uh, very, you know, um, noticeable. There's massive damage in the computer memory decks. Probably got confused. The TARDIS can close down the time windows now the droids have gone. Stop it causing any more trouble. You all right? I'm always all right. Come on, Rose. It's time you show me around the rest of this place. Um, but why can't the doctor get there in time? I mean, he. I I just that that's the whole thing. Why couldn't the doctor? She she, it was like two minutes to him, whereas the girl died already. And I understand that I I understand that a time window cuts through time, and you could end up wherever in time. But why couldn't he get there in time, whereas other times he could get there in time? Like when he drove to the horse, he could get there in time, but he just couldn't get there in time to show her stuff, to like to say his last goodbyes to her. That's just another thing I don't understand. But that, that's good. I, I like it's boring if you understand everything, you know. Like if you understand everything that about a show, it's boring. This was a very fun episode because I didn't really know anything. Um, I learned a lot about time windows and stuff. If, if I think that's what's called like an idiot. If it's not, but yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. And last thing at the end, when they got off of the, when the TARDIS, uh, what do you call it? Dematerialized thing. That's what you call it. Whatever. You, the the TARDIS dematerializes. Um, and then we see a picture of Saint Promiden, the Madam Promiden, the girl in the fireplace. We see a picture of her, and then the camera zooms out into outer space, and then the the uh, it's called the Saint Madam. What's it called? I can just look at it real quick. It's called the Saint. Uh, the SS. Madame de Pompadour. Why is there a satellite called Madame de Pompadour? Are we going to see more or just like an, a one-off mystery that we don't need to know? But it's it's very weird that she, that a satellite is named after her and that she is a satellite, I guess, because her body parts were in a satellite. I have to look like this because there's a glare in my eye. Oh, there's also blue light too, if you're wondering. Um, yeah, that was that was very weird. If I ever do reviews, I guess I use these are my review glasses, I guess, just in case a reaction doesn't work out. But um, yeah, I mean that it was very weird that uh she uh, satellite was named after her. But but this was a fantastic episode. It really stood out to me. This is has to be one. This has this is my top three. Actually, this is probably my this is actually my favorite episode. Like, for now, this is my favorite episode. This is number one. Number two was probably... My favorite episode was this, episode four, which sucked I didn't get to react to, but hope you guys still liked this review. My first, my favorite episode was Girl in the Fireplace. Number two was Father's Day. I really enjoyed Father's Day. Father's Day was an amazing episode. Like, we get to see uh, Rose's dad. And at number three, my top three, number three... Would probably be. I this didn't come out yet, but I did react to it. Uh, Rise of the Cybermen. I did react to the episode. I just didn't upload it yet or edit it yet. Um, so look out for that. But number three is Rise of the Cybermen. I really like the concept. It reminds me of like the DC multiverse and stuff. Um, anyway, this was my little review. I hope you guys liked it. Um, leave in the comments. I'll like. I I do react to a um. Sorry, I do reply to a lot of comments but um like if you like uh, I'll, I'll try to reply to every single comment um if you're talking about the episode if you're talking about like something else like if you say hey great video i'll just be like i'll just give you a heart but i'll reply to you if you like give me answers and stuff and we'll probably do a back and forth if i have more questions and stuff um just uh yeah so i'll say thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye